out in the great wilderness. So, hi guys, I'm Hana. This is Maple. This is Gumbo. And back there is Aslan. And we have been requested to make um, kind of like a camping packing video. So I am actually out right now camping. Um, I don't have anything set up yet. I kind of took all my stuff from my car. So now I'm going to kind of go through and show you guys what I pack when I am one person with three dogs um, going on a trip by myself. And this is like the basic like one night trip. Um, it could be for a weekend. It's just I only pack, I only packed enough food to be here one one two days and one night. So this is essentially you could use all this for a weekend um, or a longer trip. It's just kind of like the essentials that I bring. Um, like I said, today was very spontaneous camping trip. So I went home, grabbed everything I needed, like my essentials, threw it in the car and came. And essentially I do have everything that I need. So I'm going to go through and kind of show you guys everything. And then I'll show you kind of my uh, tent setup and how we do that. So you guys can see. All right, starting here, I have the Chaos 2 backpacking tent from Alps Mountaineer. I would not say that this is like a very light backpacking tent, but it does make a very good one person plus two dogs or two people plus a couple dogs. Um, I could sleep in this with another human and my three dogs perfectly fine, but I like to have some extra space, especially when I'm not backpacking. Um, and then I have the floor saver for that because when you live in the Pacific Northwest and it rains like every other day, you never know when the ground's going to be wet. Um, I usually bring a variety of blankets for myself and the dogs. So I have a rumple, which is really nice because it doesn't get dog hair on it and it kind of, you can just shake off all the dirt and the, uh, dog hair. And then I have this blanket, which is from Pendleton, but it isn't a wool blanket. It's just a cotton blanket with a pretty design so I can wash it. I generally bring along a hammock and hammocking straps. I'm not going to be using these for this trip because I realize there's not a lot of trees around here. Um, but I do like to have those. If you have two cars, you can swing them between the cars as well. I, I really love to hammock. Um, I have my sleeping bag here. It's also from Alps. Um, this sleeping bag is a 20 degree bag. So you're essentially rated to be comfortable down to 20 degrees, which it doesn't get here in Oregon, but good to have really useful when I was in Canada and it started snowing. I bring two types, two different air pads. Um, and I'll show you these when I set up, set up. Um, I sleep on one and I generally have one next to me because the dogs like to sleep on them or when I roll over because the dogs are like stealing my space. I have that over there. This um, tiny chair, it's a really, really light backpacking chair that you can clip onto like your backpack. Um, I'll show it later, but I got it on Amazon. It came in a two pack and it's really easy to set up and then take down. Um, so you don't need to bring bulky camp chairs with you. I just, it came in a pack of two, but I just brought one because I'm by myself. Um, I usually bring a towel for me or the dogs. You never know what the rain or whatever. Um, and then I bring a headlamp for at night so I don't have to carry around a lantern. I bring a tent light and then I bring these lights that are perfect for putting on the dog's collars or harnesses and then being able to see them at night. Um, so I usually bring two because I don't really put them on Gumbo or Aslan because they stay close, but Maple I like to be able to see. And as far as a camping person I am, I have to have a pillow with me, preferably a memory foam pillow because I am a princess and my neck does hurt. So I do bring a full size pillow with me usually. Um, moving on to the dog stuff. So I don't normally bring a full size dog bed with me. This bed was actually already in my car. So I just brought it out and they, so they could lay on it. Um, I generally don't bring this when I come camping, but if your dog likes to lay on a bed and it is nice because Aslan does enjoy beds, so that's for him. So I also bring a Carlson pet product cot. So this is the large cot. Um, and this fits, this can easily fit two of my dogs um, at the same time. Um, this is really nice. It keeps them off the ground. Um, it's really comfortable. It's kind of nice to just have them have this place to stay. I bring collapsible bowls because they're light and easy to use for water. One's already out with water right there. So I usually bring three, one for each dog. Um, I bring a long line just in case. Um, all my dogs 
there they are, are pretty good off leash, but you never know when they're getting rowdy or something. The, it's good to have a long line. I also have a rough wear line system that you need to hang between like two trees, but there's no trees here, so I didn't bring that. But this is good. You never know for emergencies. If you ever need to tie a dog up, it's there. Um, I usually bring like Nyla bones or chew, um, chews or something so that the dogs have something to do in case they get bored. Treats. You can never go wrong with too many treats because I like to practice recalls. I like to practice training or for photos. Um, dog food. I'm obviously only here for a day, so they only need a dinner and breakfast. So I measured it out and put it in a bag. Um, this is a Herda dog sleeping bag. So I usually bring this instead of bringing like a dog bed because they can stay warm in here and then I can just put it on the floor and they can kind of be on it. They don't really need comfort. They just like to have something where when it's wet. Um, so I usually put this in the tent with me and the dogs can sleep on it. So with the dog clothes, I normally bring just depending on the weather. Um, so a lot of my dog clothes is from Herda. So we have the Herda, um, downpour suit and ex um, downpour suit and slush combat suit. That's another downpour suit for Maple, Gumbo, and Aslan, I think. And then Maple has a body warmer because she does tend to get cold at night if it gets really cold. The boys do not. Um, and then I also have a sug sun and bug, blug bug blocker for um, Gumbo because if there is a lot of blood bugs, he's actually allergic to bug bites, so I have to put this on him. So yeah, it's kind of dependent on the weather it does. I usually do try to bring at least some rain gear just because it is the PNW and it does rain and sometimes it's already muddy where we are and I like to keep them clean so that when they come in the tent and sleep with me, they're not nasty. Um, but that's totally up to you guys. That's not an essential, but it is to us. All right, other things. So I usually bring bear spray, um, bear attack deterrent, or a axe with me, um, mostly for protection, um, cause you know, I do travel by myself and it is sometimes scary. Um, there are bears in this area sometimes, so it's good to have this, know how to use it. I do also keep an axe in case, you know, I need wood or something. So that's there. I recently just got this and I'm in love with it. It's a Jackery Porter portable power station. Um, power outdoors and what I love 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 about this is you can one input you charge it either in your car or in an um, AC adapter and then it has two USB ports to charge like your phone or your iPad or whatever and it also has a freaking AV AC port for um, like your laptop and that was my number one thing was I didn't have anything to charge my laptop or my camera battery and it also has a cigarette lighter. So this is great because now I can bring my laptop and I can work and edit on the road, which is a lifesaver. So this is um, something I just recently got and have been trying it out and I love it. Um, another thing that is one of the most essential things, especially, especially when you're traveling by yourself and you're out where you don't have service, is a portable car battery jump so this is a power bank you can also use this to charge your phone or cigarette lighter but you also charge it up and i think it has enough for one car battery jump and it comes with jumper cables i got this at costco for like 80 bucks and it's just good to have because even if i have AAA, but you know when you're camping sometimes you don't have service or sometimes you're out in the middle of nowhere and it's just good to always have that juice um also i didn't have this before so this is what i use to like charge my phone and things like that so this is very very key bag of um, my clothes and my toiletries and then this is all my medication and allergy medication um, electronics, my laptop, my iPad, um, all those things are usually in there, my camera. And let's go over food stuff. So I always bring one or two jugs, gallon jugs of water, um, filled up for the dogs and for me. Hi, Gumbo. Hi, buddy. Um, oh gosh, it looks like it's gonna rain. Um, I usually bring two water bottles just full of ice water for me when I'm hiking. Um, garbage bag, always pack out things. Um, I usually bring a scented garbage can and then I try to put everything in it and then take it out when I leave. I have these GSI bowls. They're just collapsible human bowls or people bowls. And I really love these bowls because they have measuring. So they have mils and ounces because when you'll see... Some of the food 
um, will need a certain amount of water and I don't want to carry a measuring cup. And so this is really nice. Um, snacks. My breakfast is some oatmeal and then some dinner. I have Mountain House. Mountain House is my favorite one. I've tried so many of these freeze-dried ones. Mountain House is the best. Um, and they sell big packs of these at Costco for relatively cheaper than you buy just one each at REI um, in the summer. So stock up. I do that. And then um, the stove system is a backpacking stove. And I also did not bring... Um, my gas for this so it's kind of useless for this trip <laughs> sorry but let me show you guys it oops come on hold on pan and then a pot and usually I put my gas inside here but my gas ran out and so I didn't change it out and now I'm gasless for the night um which is okay but because I have other food but this is a flint starter in here and this part screws into the gas and you light it um, there's like a little lighter. Aslan, don't put your face on there. There's a little lighter and you let the gas in and it'll flick this and light and then you put your pot on top of it and you boil some water. Really, really quick, simple way to get some hot water for coffee, for oatmeal, for freeze-dried meals. Um, it's obviously, you could cook like soup in here. I have, um, and cook like, I guess like eggs, but you're going to get a pretty uneven burn. Um, it's not like a propane grill at all, which I also do have, but those are for like longer trips. <laughs> So yeah, that's about all I bring when I go camping by myself and we can set it up now. talking about really simple easy to set up and take apart and we got the chaos 2 tent inside we have two sleeping pads one sleeping pad two sleeping pads one for me one for the dogs but you know if we move around then it's comfortable for the entire floor okay hi <laughs> you're my video bud i generally sleep on the side furthest from the door that i am um gonna be opening so not that door this door that I'm shooting through right now and that way when the dogs get in and out they don't get my stuff as dirty as their stuff and then as I said so I have my sleeping bag here my pillow and then I usually bring an extra blanket for me and then the dogs will have some sort of blanket or two or three depending on how cold it is and then oh Aslan you're on top of it come here Aslan come get up stand Aslan stand get up get over there Ugh. and then this is the hurt up sleeping bag that the two big boys do fit in here but Maple likes it a lot more and she tends to get a little bit more cold than the boys so yeah are vitally essential and by that I mean I never even leave the car without these um they're in my car is why I forgot about them is bug spray um you guys probably know the people that are avid outdoor hikers or stuff in the summer bugs can get really nasty um I am prone to getting mosquito bites they love me so I like use the crap out of this stuff on my skin um they have natural kinds too it's just the deep wood dry stuff has worked the best for me um so I have that and then for the dogs I have wonder side so I don't actually use any oral or um topical stuff on the dogs uh usually unless the flea and tick season is really bad but I do one use a flea and tick natural collar which I'll talk about in a different video I don't have it on me because um I didn't put it on for this trip because there's not that many bugs two my dogs aren't really known to go bound in the tall grass um unless we're hiking in the area and there's tall grass I don't really worry about it my dogs have never had a flea or tick infestation um 
So I generally only have to use Wonderside. So this is a natural flea and tick spray. You can use it on humans. It's totally safe. I actually spray this on myself and my clothes. Um, and then this I use on my skin. But yeah, I generally spray the crap out of my dogs, like their back, their underside, their chest, behind their tail, or like their tail and their butt, behind their ears. And I'll actually put some on my hand, rub it, and kind of rub it on their muzzle not like anywhere in their like um oral <laughs> or um eye cavities or anything like that but gumbo is allergic to mosquito bites he will flare up and get an allergic reaction so i have to actually be really careful with him and we actually had an er visit last year where i didn't put anything on his face and he got bit on the face and it swelled up so yeah that's what i use for flea and tick protection and yeah, if you guys have any questions about gear I use um, or anything like that, let me know. I think I want to make a backpacking video as well when I start this backpacking season in the summer. And yeah, thanks guys for watching.